we need to also be able to, to write an equation of a quadratic from three points. Plug the x and y values into y equals ax squared plus bx plus c, and then this will give us a system of equations to solve for a, b, and c. So there's two equations here. Let's start with the first point. We have y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. The first point is negative 5, negative 1. So let's fill in what we know. We have negative 1 is equal to a times negative 5 squared plus b times negative 5 plus c. So negative 1 is equal to 25a minus 5b plus c. Now let's look at the second point, negative 2, negative 4. Negative 4 is equal to a times negative 2 squared plus b times negative 2 plus c. So negative 4 is equal to 4a minus 2b plus c. Now let's look at the last point, 1 and 11. 11 is equal to a times 1 squared plus b times 1 plus c. So 11 is equal to a plus b plus c. So the three equations I have are negative 1 is equal to 25a minus 5b plus c. Negative 4 is equal to 4a minus 2b plus c and 11 is equal to a plus b plus c. So now we have a system of equations that we will solve for. In the first column, I'm going to just pick two of them. Let's just say 1 and 2. Say I have negative 1 is equal to 25a minus 5b plus c, and negative 4 is equal to 4a minus 2b plus c. Let's eliminate one of the letters and I believe C would be easiest to eliminate if I multiply everything on the bottom by a negative 1 or everything on top by a negative 1. Let's do the bottom. So what I have is negative 1 equals 25A minus 5B plus C and underneath this one we have 4 equals negative 4A plus 2B minus C Let's combine these two equations together. Remember, we wanted to eliminate C. And we get 3 equals 21A minus 3B. Now I need to use another combination of two of them to eliminate C again. And why don't I try 1 and 3? So here I used 1 and 2. Here I'm going to use 2 and 3. Okay, in equation 2 we have negative 4 is equal to 4a minus 2b plus c and we have 11 is equal to a plus b plus c. Let's get rid of c again by multiplying the second equation by a negative sign so all the signs will change and let's draw our line and combine so the c's will go away and this leaves me with negative 15 is equal to 3a minus 3b. Now this is the second equation that I need for up here and now I can easily solve for a or b, find out what one of those is and substitute it. Let's multiply the top equation by a negative sign and draw our line. This is going to give me negative 18 is equal to 18a the b's cancel out, so a is equal to negative 1. And now I know what a is, and all I have to do is substitute it. So if a is negative 1, I'm going to plug it back into one of these equations to solve. So let's plug it back into the blue equation. 3 is equal to 21 times negative 1 minus 3b. So 3 is equal to negative 21 minus 3b. Add 21 to both sides. So negative 3b is equal to 24. So b is equal to negative 8. 
Now just plug that into the last one and we have 11 is equal to A plus B plus C. So 11 is equal to negative 1 plus negative 8 plus C. 11 is equal to negative 9 plus C. So if we bring 9 over here and add it to 11, we get 20 is equal to C. Negative 21 plus 3 is negative 18, so A is equal to positive 1. Let's plug positive 1 back into one of the original equations on this second, in the second column. So we have 3 is equal to 21 times 1 minus 36. So 3 is equal to 21 minus 3b, subtracting 21 from both sides. 3b, or negative 3b, is equal to negative 18. So b is equal to 6. Now let's plug this back into the bottom equation number 3. 11 is equal to a is 1 plus b is 6 plus C we don't know, so 11 is equal to 7 plus C, and C is equal to 11 minus 7, which is 4. So I have everything I need to figure in my equation. We have Y equals AX squared, so A was, A was 1, B is 6, and C is 4. So we're plugging it back up into this equation, standard form y is equal to 1 times x squared, b is 6, so we substitute 6 into b, plus c, which is 4. So this is the equation. Our last problem. 